as the name suggests on the bottle, cage tamer, well, no one is going to cage this lady. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition, where here on this channel we talk about nothing but fragrances. So, if that's your bread and butter or your jam, then stick around, because who knows what might happen in the video. Anyway, let's get back to a fragrance review. I love doing a fragrance review, a full-on review of this fragrance, which is by Serge Lutens, and it is a, let's just say, let's just put it out there, I really enjoy this fragrance, so let's get into it. So this fragrance is called La Dompteuse Encagée, La Dompteuse Encagée, and look at that juice, and I have put a small little dent in it, because the love for Serge Lutens just grows and grows and grows and this was a blind buy for me but I was inspired by a video that kind of swayed me and that is Olfactive Stories Karen. I'll pop her channel down below. She spoke about this fragrance and I think it was a blind buy for her as well and she really liked this fragrance but on skin it smells very very different to it than it does on paper on card it it was launched last year and i think it was launched in spring of last year um and it is quintessentially a yellow floral and a tropical floral with almond so it's frangipani ylang ylang and almond now that's just it now when i looked at the notes i thought is it going to be a beachy scent in one word no it's not a beachy scent at all is it for spring and summer is it all year round well i would wear this all year round i'm not a seasoned fragrance user that doesn't sound good does it i'm not a i'm not akin to using fragrances to seasons per se. Now, some might say, oh, this is just for spring and summer because it's a tropical yellow and almond kind of scent. But I'm gonna spray this on my skin. Yeah, let's just spray with gay abandon like we do. Now, this opens up, I can already smell it coming from my hand. This opens up sweet like and karen said it like bubble gum but i love that i love that sweet sweet feel to it yes if you like sweet fragrances you will certainly love this now i don't really get any now when you when you smell frangipani normally, it smells really tropical, it smells really beachy. This doesn't at all. This, the note pyramid, doesn't seem to equate to the fragrance. Shall I tell you what this smells like? In the UK here, we have these sweets called Mentos sweets, and they come in all variety of different flavours, but it's the pink candy ones that these remind me of they're hard but they're chewy and they're sweet and it also reminds me of that confetti that you throw that kind of sweet in not not the paper confetti but it is it's like uh the drage the those kind of sweets that you can you can eat at weddings this is a it actually it reminds me of a bridal scent it reminds me of thing that a bride would wear it's incredibly sweet this fragrance and that kind of sweet fragrance lingers throughout it's quite linear it doesn't really change there is a backdrop of an almond feel to it and that's why i feel it's like those sweets you get at the weddings those kind of drage sweets that um they're almost 
bitter but they're sweet but it's more sweet in this fragrance if that makes sense and the frangipani in this well i i always think of frangipani as well it is a sweet it is a sweet tropical vibe this is what this reminds me of it reminds me of those mentos sweets now the projection and the performance let's talk about it it is okay it's not beast mode like other Serge Luton's fragrances. I would say it's moderate. So on me, it lasts for about five to six hours, six hours maximum. But then I overspray like you do. And you do need to overspray this fragrance for it to project. If you just spray two or three sprays, it's not going to project. If you spray seven or eight sprays, then it will project and it will project at arm's length i would say and also if you spray it on clothes it does last and project longer on clothes i have quite dry skin so on me it might work different for somebody else that doesn't have dry skin but i always moisturize and i always oil i oil up i'm not ashy at all this is a fragrance you could wear all year round you could make it signature Worthy appropriate if you're looking for a signature scent a lovely sweet tropical floral sweet it doesn't verge on cloying at all with the sweetness the it's delicate it's ethereal it's angelic it's one of those fragrances it's a floaty fragrance it's the the name la dompteur en cage means the cage tamer i think so i don't know what the reference is is it for freeing yourself of all the restraints i know serge likes to make something very very deep and dark and he references things to those kind of things so i always think of um is it gloria swanson in a 1920 silent film in that film where she is a bit of a, a cage she's in a cage I, I don't know I don't know I digress but it has that kind of reference to freeing yourself the name you think oh it's going to be deep and dark and it's not it's light it's airy but it still performs fairly well for Serge Luton's fragrances it's not beast mode or goddess mode as we like as Lulu likes to say it's not god it's not goddess mode it's princess mode what's down what's the next step down from a goddess a goddess mode comment down below i'd like to hear your thoughts so you've been watching another edition of the fragrantition till next time spray slay spray with gay abandon and i'll see you in the next video bye for now